Bismillah Rahman Rahim model demonstration of uh, the eyeball <sighs> okay start with the first structure uh, this transparent uh, structure represents the cornea and uh, it actually we have just one half here there should be another half of the cornea over here so the whole transparency in front of the eye represents uh, the cornea and the cornea continues as a fibrous sheet known as the sclera this is the sclera so the cornea and the sclera they form the fibrous tunic of the eye I'll move inside. So next layer we have this uh, pigmented layer known as the vascular tunic, and this is the choroid. The choroid, the iris, and this hole is the pupil, which allows light to enter the eye. <coughs> pupil, iris, choroid, and uh, yeah, okay, let's move inside. So this is the vitreous humor uh, and um, these ridges or irregular irregularities on the surface of the vitreous humor represent the, the impressions formed by the ciliary body or the ciliary processes and this is where you normally find the lens but in this model we don't have the lens. Okay now we'll move inside and have a look at the internal view. So this is the neural part of the retina, the neural retina, neural retina and uh, beneath the neural retina we've got actually another layer of retina known, known as the pigmented layer of the retina, the pigmented layer. This is the neural retina, this uh, orange whatever and the um, layer which, uh, and the layer beneath the, the, the neural retina we've got the pigmented layer of the retina. Now the pigmented layer of the retina is involved in the absorption of uh, the light because it's pigmented and it's also involved in the formation of a retinal dehyde for vision. Okay, so this is in from the internal view. Now look at another. Yeah. <clears throat> Again, this is the same choroid and. Uh, we are looking at it from the inside so the neural again the neural part of the retina beneath that we've got the pigmented layer and this junction point yeah this junction point represents the aura serrata this aura serrata and this is the non visual part of the retina also known as the ciliary part of the retina the ciliary part of the retina this is the ciliary body the ciliary body having okay, focus, 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 focus. Yeah, this is the ciliary body having ciliary processes. These are the ciliary ciliary processes right over here. These are the ciliary processes uh, which are connected to suspensive ligaments. Uh, yeah, uh, ciliary processes can also be seen over here. These are the ciliary processes, the ora serrata, neural retina and of course the ciliary body uh, okay ciliary processes tendon on neural serrata bulbar ciliary processes uh, posterior chamber uh, okay anterior chamber you'll find between uh, the cornea and the iris and the posterior chamber you'll find between the iris and the lens okay uh, scleral venous sinus is also known as canal of Schlem. You'll probably find them in this region, the canals of Schlem, uh, for the venous drainage of the eye. Canals of Schlem or uh, scleral venous sinuses. <clears throat> okay, now to the optic nerve. So, yeah, this is the optic nerve. having the central retinal artery and vein central retinal artery and vein 
and the optic nerve is actually uh, covered with meningeal meninges. We got the dura meter, the, the pi meter, and the arachnoid, and we also have a subarachnoid space. So the optic nerve is connect uh, is uh, surrounded by the um, meningeal coverings. Okay, and yeah, this region represents the fovea centralis. And in the middle of the fovea centralis, we've got the macula, where, where we have the highest amount of um, cones. So this is the center of the visual field. Center of the, the visual field. And now the ciliary muscles. Uh, the ciliary muscles. We have two types of ciliary muscles. We've got the circular fibers and the meridional fibers. The meridional fibers of the ciliary muscles, but they're not more. They're not uh, shown on this model. Now we'll have a quick overview of the um, extrinsic muscles of the eyeball. Uh, we've got the superior rectus, the tendon of the superior oblique, the, uh, the medial rectus, the lateral rectus, and uh, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Shit. Uh, yeah, uh, this is the um, um, inferior rectus, the inferior oblique. Okay, again, the inferior oblique, inferior oblique, and the inferior rectus. And on top of the superior rectus, we have got the levator palpebrae superioris, but it's not shown on this model. Uh, basically, we've got uh, the levator palpebrae superioris, the superior rectus, the, the superior rectus, the medial rectus, the lateral rectus, and the inferior oblique, along with the inferior rectus. They are supplied by the oculomotor nerve. The superior oblique is supplied by the trochlear nerve, and the lateral rectus supplied by the abducens sorry yeah lateral rectus is supplied by the abducens nerve because it abducts the eye and the junction point between uh, the layer of the sclera and the optic nerve over here represents the lamina cribro cribrosa the lamina cribrosa of the sclera lamina cribrosa of the sclera and this uh, whole probably represents the ethmoidal cell so this was about the eye. Thank you.